Nice sunny day anyways. Probably shouldn't have that out in the sun though in the meantime. Keepers talking started yesterday. Obviously to the guys. Mm -hmm. Um I went upstairs like super pissed off in the HOH room that they pulled him to the side during the party. You guys see that? Yeah. Yes. I did. Expedia. Yeah. And told him he was good. Pretty much give, pretty much taking my stealing my vote away. So I was super pissed off last night. I yelled at them. And then he came into me this morning and pretty much was just offering a lot in terms of moving forward over the boys mm. swearing on family stuff that honestly I don't know if you could offer me mm. by winning hops and stuff I get it I knew it was coming yesterday anyways because okay. I knew you guys aren't very well at I had no clue no I knew I knew this is what it is. You only know when I just think, just like you asked, you wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Literally the least I could do. No, I appreciate that. Is what it is. I mean, there's. They make up their mind, that's the way it is. There's no convincing you otherwise. What do you think? I just feel like shit. I think they're voting you out because of me. No, don't worry about that. Listen, it is what it is. Yeah, Just, I know. What can you do about it? I definitely think it's the wrong move, based on my conversations with Keith. But I... You'll find that out, I guess. Well, you don't, you don't have anything to say about it? Like, it ultimately is coming down to me. Well, I mean, you know, we had conversations. Our conversations basically, you know, outlined where where I stood with you and that was true I don't know that they could offer that to you but I honestly believe that it's going to be a steamroll right now and I really truly believe for your game it makes no sense to keep Kiefer I think he's going to have a lot of fire right now, and I honestly don't see you going to the end if Kiefer's still in the game, based, just based on conversations I've had with yeah. people, right? And I'm just being honest, I've been that way from day one. I just, I just honestly believe that it's going to be, keeping Kiefer is going to be a, a soil in a few people's games. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, uh, I just don't think it's the best move. I really don't. And I honestly think that you could go very far in this game if he's not in it. Why is that? I think he's going to steamroll it. I really do. He knows everything there is to know about this game. I've been honest in saying I do not know everything there is to know about this game. That is going to hinder me getting to a certain point. When it comes down to that final three competition, you'd have your pick. Keith is going to be very unbeatable when it comes to that point. Mm-hmm. And I think him staying, he will get to that point. That's just my two cents, but I'm not going to trash talk him, but no, I wouldn't ask you he's, you know, just based on the conversations I've had with him, he's going to go far. He's going to go real far.
and in all reality, what kind of move for Jetson is it to get me out? Makes no I sense. Mean, it's not a good move for him. Makes no sense. Yeah. Well, you can tell Jed that for sure. But I was totally down for this three right here. Completely. I don't know. I just wish we all started working together earlier. I just think it's going to be a tough battle for you in this game if Kiefer stays into it. I know. The only thing I can say to that is I'm obviously a more physical player than him and I know my shit up and down. He really knows his shit up and down. One. Yeah, no, Keith knows his stuff too, for sure. He is one of the better ones to go up against, 100%. And I honestly believe when it comes down to it, he is going to take the boys to the end. If he has that opportunity, he's going to take the boys to the end. Jed yeah. can't play in this one. No, I know, and that's a good thing. I know, and ultimately it's hard to have this conversation because I think I'm basing my vote off of what I've talked to him about too, right? Mm -hmm. So we could both just sit here all day and say the same thing. But Keith's actually like offering me some pretty good shit. And with the type of player he is, that might be valuable to me. I can guarantee if he's saying that he's taking you to the end, he's not. I can tell you that straight out. Hands down. He tells you it's a boys game? Just based on conversations and his loyalty, um, I would be, I would actually be shocked, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. But. I don't know what your conversations you've had with him, so. Mm hmm exactly. But I would be shocked if he, if he's promising you to the end, I would be hands down floored if that actually happens. We've said all along it was a boys game. Yeah, I made that assumption for sure. But, that's it. Do you want to talk to Jed? I mean, I'll certainly talk to Jed, but I don't know if Jed's going to believe anything I say over keepers. Yeah. But for Jed's game, it makes no sense. Absolutely no sense whatsoever. At the end of the day, what what big moves are left? Yeah, I know. Just from a game standpoint and what you say in the end of the game, it just does not make sense whatsoever. It really doesn't. Any one of you guys left sitting next to me in the end would take it. Sitting next to Kiefer in the end, Kiefer's winning it. Guaranteed. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter who's sitting next to me. So. Can I talk to Sam first? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Yep. You know, out of all people know the secrets that are in this house. Mm-hmm. Stuff that she doesn't know about. Mm-hmm. 
and the loyalty that Kiefer has mm -hmm. and how tight he is on that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't think that he would take the two boys at the end because the boys are going to take each other and that would be stupid for him. I'm one of his only people who would, who would pull him in. And he knows that. He knows he kind of needs me over them. I don't think Kiefer's playing the game to take you to the end. I think Kiefer wants to be the best to play this game. Kiefer wants to take the person who's next in line with him. Mm -hmm. And he wants to beat them. Yeah, be the I best. know, and that's actually kind of offensive to me because just because Jed is the biggest, strongest man in this house does not make him the best. No, absolutely. At all. No, and I, I don't mean no offense to it. much bigger moves, not even the V thing, but I've been doing so much in this house over Jetson and I think that Kiefer actually and, sees that which is appreciated. And I and I completely and I did not mean no offense to it whatsoever. I'm just looking at it from a jury standpoint. Mm -hmm. And from a jury standpoint, that's the assumption that's gonna be made. I know, which is absolutely complete bullshit. It is. It is, hands down. Mm -hmm. Because I know that you had a huge hand in getting Kiefer on the block this week. Yeah. That's a huge, huge move. But he's not going home. Which means if he goes home this week, that's something on your resume, not Jed's. It's going to look, it, it's. No, I know, like saying that like this, the vote really comes down to me. <coughs> I mean, I pulled you into that pantry for a reason early on. I know. And I know we haven't had a whole lot of game conversation throughout. We've touched base. Always. But I knew there was something about you early on. I know you did. And the same goes for me to you. And even though, you know, even though the boys you know, they're strong, yes, they have they each have a couple of, you know, they have their wins under their belt. Um, they're, they're hands down very smooth talkers. Oh, very yeah. Smooth. They are going to sway a jury in the end of this game. I know. And at the end of the day, if you were sitting next to me in that final two, you solidified your win hands down. I know that. Hands sure. down. And if you needed me to make a move in the event that I did win an HOH, you would do it. I would make a fucking move. I honestly don't know if Keith will make that move if he wins. I would be shocked. Based on the conversations I've had with them, I would be shocked. And, you know, I get it, Beth. You have to do what's best for your game and what you think is best for your game. And I respect that. I know you do. I'm still back and forth on this one. But I truly, truly believe that if one of us girls got this next HOH, we could change this game. Oh, absolutely. We pull in Braden and we change this game. It just depends on who you think is going to be best in your end game. I know. And so far, like us girls haven't been the best at these comp wins, you know? So for me, I just feel like if I kept you, I'm actually working really like a lot harder because I need to win, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I really, really need to win. With Keith, I have something secured, like he would have my back for at least a little bit, you know? Maybe. Maybe, you know, yeah, maybe, you're right. I have had conversations where your name and Brayden's name has, have come up. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. And never the boys, hey? Never the boys. He has never, ever said that he would go after them. And I've had some pretty, pretty good one-on-ones with Keith. And I'm not saying it just to get your vote. I'm saying it so that you can be better educated. No, to know you've your, always been honest with game. me. Have you talked to Brayden? Briefly. Briefly. What does he think? 
about what, in terms of who should go. He hasn't given me much indication on that at all. He's right with Ty now. It's very scary. He's a good guy. I mean, you know, everybody to this point deserves to be here. Everybody. And, you know, at the end of the day, you do have to make the decision best for your game. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't believe it's Keith, but... I know, and I'm worried about what it does with me and Tara if you're not here. I just think you need to keep people who are in this house who are going to take a shot if needed. Because if either myself or Tara, maybe Brayden, I don't know. If, if a shot needs to be taken, you don't have to take it in the event that we win in HOH. And that's only gonna help you in the jury because yeah. you didn't take the shot. Big time. It shifts well, the target. Yeah, I, I mean, honest, it would help me if I did take the shot, but. Keith is not gonna take a shot anytime soon because he's concerned about what it will do to him in the jury. And I say this to you in confidence. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, it's up to you what you wanna do with the info, but I just hope that you would keep that between you and I. Absolutely. You know, I've always said from the start of this game, information is power. Keep it to yourself. And that's what I've done, and um, we'll be shocked if he does take you further in this game. Then the next couple weeks? Yeah. I mean, I respect that you came out, you had wanted to have the conversation, that you told me, you know, thank you for that. I'm going to go chat with him a little bit. Don't worry, everything you say to me is me and you. Okay. I just need to confirm, but not what you've said, just what he's told me. He's a seller. He's a talker. He's Those three guys are smooth talkers. They all are. See through it. Try and see through some of the talk that's going on. Because some of the talk is a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit for sure, and I'm aware, yeah. But, whatever you decide, just let me know. Three times, but. Coming in? Yep. It's hot out here. It's very hot in here.